Hey, in this adventure, answer the question, why do people dark side? You don't know the power of the dark side. Okay, I'll back up. The first question is, what is dark siding? Well, dark siding is when someone uses a car tire on the rear for the rear tire of a motorcycle. Still got questions? Great. In the six-part series, I hope to answer those questions, but feel free to ask in the comments. And speaking of the comments, if one of these topics interests you, uh, please mention it in the comments. If you run a lot of miles, you get tired, pun intended, of changing the tire and paying for the tires. So after spending a lot of money on tires, uh, two, three, four a year, uh, you start looking into this dark side thing. You come for the cost savings, you stay for the many other benefits. So what are these supposed benefits? Well, one is better braking. Do you remember how you were taught to brake? You straighten the bike and then you stop. And uh, when you straighten the bike on a car tire, you have a lot larger contact patch for better braking. Better wet weather traction. This one is a little more debatable. It may be more related to the better braking, um, but when you're doing a lot of touring, you typically get a multi-compound tire. And those tires are awfully hard in the center and not very sticky. Uh, so wet weather is just not as good. So yeah, a great, a great touring tire. Might not be a great wet weather tire, but a car tire isn't affected by that. And that was my experience when I ran the uh, Dunlop Elite Fours. Uh, I lived in Portland, Oregon at the time, so plenty of wet weather. Uh, I wasn't very happy with the wet weather traction. So I switched to a car tire. Groove pavement or graded bridges. Motorcycle tires with a small contact patch can easily get caught, fall on the lines in a milled road, uh, the lines of the concrete or graded bridges. If you've ever been riding on any of those, you notice how that bike kind of jumps from one line to another. Car tires with a wider contact patch, a lot less susceptible to that. So if you have a bike that does this, the car tire should offset it. There are some bikes though with some larger tires, like say the Harley Davidson Fat Boy. It's not very susceptible to that. Uh, your experience may vary. Uh, the tire runs cooler. Uh, car tires have more volume, more air means more cooling, more cooling means better wear. This is a theoretical issue for me. I've not really studied this, but it, it makes sense. Better weight capacity. Now we're getting to something good. If you're on a large bike, many tires are just barely stout enough for the bike itself, let alone a large rider, passenger, and a trailer. Check the weight ratings on your tire to make sure it can handle what you're giving it. Uh, my car tire can handle about 1,100 pounds. I've seen where people start towing. They're using a motorcycle tire. Uh, the weight, the heat, everything works together to wear that tire out faster. And they even have blowouts. Dark side for the win. So is dark side right for you? Well, you'll have to answer that question for yourself. But stick around for this series and see if I can answer some of your questions. Until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road. Politics, religion. Her.